she told a friend she had wanted to use one more time. So she got some heroin and smoked it. And the neurologist explained to me that even when you smoke heroin, when it crosses the brain, it can cause a reaction that causes a um, cardiac arrest. And that's what happened with Morgan. Well, I don't agree with them reducing the sentences for drug dealers or couriers, especially for heroin. Morgan's a beautiful girl, and she's so talented. She was on the honor roll all through middle school, and she was on the track and field team. She loved dancing, loves people, and she's still beautiful. But she can't walk. Yeah. She can't feed herself. She's depressed. She is very grateful. She's told me before, I'm so glad you didn't give up on me. Do you want a headband on, Morgan? Yeah. Morgan is my cousin and best friend. I kind of just wanted to be just like her. Anything Morgan wore, anything Morgan did, I was right behind her. Ew. No, it's okay. I think it scared our little siblings, and it's definitely made a big impact on um, me and my brother and the older kids of the clan to not experiment with drugs, to not go any further, if any of us already had, to risk that, because we saw what it did to Morgan, and, and we wouldn't want to hurt Morgan like that. How are you doing in algebra? Good. Good? It's worked out for her to be at home because she's finishing high school. She had dropped out when she started using more. And uh, now she is set to graduate the end of this year, which is a miracle in itself. I've seen young people who are so affected by maybe a parent or someone they care about go through addiction and struggle with it and want to be with their parent and eventually giving up and saying, I guess I'll use two. It's absolutely deadly and it destroys families. <laughs>